Hello and welcome to This Old Geek. I'm Mike Esker and like always I'm starting by building up the clay head. Getting that all built up and then I apply the uh, aluminum foil. Just mold it into the clay uh, sculpt that you did and then I tape any loose foil before I apply the uh, paper mache and here I'm applying the paper mache which is just strips of newspaper dipped in a mixture of water and flour that makes the paste I actually have videos on my a video on my channel that shows you just how to do it it's real super simple and then when I let it dry for a couple days I cut it open separate it take everything out all the clay and the aluminum foil on the tape and then I glue it together hold it with bands and when that dries I paper mache around the seam where I had uh, just put the two pieces together here I am cutting a hole out for the neck sizing the neck after I cut the neck I glue it into the head and then I wrap it with uh, masking tape and then I Paper mache all the way around it. Now when you paper mache, do about three or four layers. Here I'm applying the uh, paper clay, which I got at a craft store. And I'm just building that up until I get everything to look the way I want. When you're applying the clay, you want to get your fingers wet. And you want to get the the uh, paper mache uh, uh, head a little bit wet before you apply the clay on there and you want to keep your fingers uh, I dip it I always dip my fingers in a bowl of water get them wet and that helps to for me to shape everything out and I also use some tools I use a lot of makeshift tools I just grab whatever and use it that's how I do it now here I'm making the ears which is one of my least favorite things to do because I always seem to have a hard time. Just drew out a pattern, flattened out some uh, some clay, put the pattern on there and cut them out. And see, I'm using the blunt end, the other end of the the wrong end of a brush. I'm playing the ears. I have to just do a little bit of sanding, really just to shape everything, get it the way I want it to look. And then I brush off all the sanding dust. Then I apply some drywall compound, and I just, after it dries, I just rub it down. It's better than sanding. I just rub it down with a damp cloth because it is water soluble. Now here I'm painting the head after everything dries with a uh, with some acrylic gesso which is just a primer and now I'm painting with uh, peach craft paint acrylic craft paint I bought it like Walmart it's real cheap now I believe I'm painting the whites of the eyes here my hands in the way and I'm doing the irises here then of course I paint the pupils and then a little little white dot there give a little glimmer in that eye and there's my head for the wizard sculpt now I got a lot more to do I'm gonna put like a beard and hair on them and now that I'm looking at him, he does kind of bear a resemblance to a certain uh, actor who played a certain starship captain in a certain sci-fi franchise. If any of you know who I'm talking about, you know, give a little shout out there. I'm still going to make him a wizard. It'd be interesting to see what he looks like as a wizard. So there you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and... Uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and I will have more coming. I will have a part two 
of making this guy eventually. I just really busy lately and got a lot of other things I'm doing. So till then I'll see you and have a great day.